Good morning and welcome to this morning's broadcast. For our first story, Prime the Sports Drink has taken the world by storm. This drink was made by the famous in Logan Paul. This addictive drink has, making, has made students pay incredible amounts of money for just the empty bottle. But should we keep allowing this all to happen? For our next story, everyone has hobbies and things they enjoy doing. Some of our Year 8 students are going to be interviewing members of the school about Ho Valley's extracurricular activities. Over to you, Erica. At Ho Valley School, there is a variety of clubs that students can take part in at lunchtime or after school. Some examples of these include chess club, comic book club and football club. Connor, do you take part in any extracurricular activities at Ho Valley School? Um, yeah, football. What about you, Alyssa? I do comic book club. Who is that with? Mr. Cranage. Are there any new clubs that you would like any teachers at HVS to start hosting? Um, not really. I'm not sure. Thank you for your time. Today, we are going to interview students and teachers about what new clubs they already do and or wanted hosted at HVS. So, Mr Inglis, are you hosting any clubs at the moment at Ho Valley School? Yeah, um, I host um, one club actually only this academic year, which is um, Tech Crew. Now, uh, we work towards supporting school productions. So we were heavily involved in Shrek, the major production at Christmas. And um, the guys in Tech Crew did a fantastic job. So some of them are operating the sound. Um, we have professional sound equipment in Wharton Hall with all of the actors wearing microphones and so on. Um, and so that we could um, get the sound to come through the speakers. So it was kind of nice and professional. We also operate the light. And again, we've got a fully professional lighting rig down in Wharton Hall that we use to, um, again, give the show that really special touch. We have a, a spotlight as well. As a year eight student was operating the spotlight. Again, he learned to do that in the club, as well as um, students operating the cameras. We've got a series of cameras that we used heavily during Shrek to create some of the, the really special effects. And we have people um, creating, um, before the show itself, doing some pre-production, creating um, videos and other special effects to go into the show. Are there any new clubs that you would like to start hosting within the next few years? Yeah, it's difficult. You know, I mean, there's only so much time in the day, but perhaps this will improve um, with the new shortened school day. Um, traditionally, I've always run an Italian club. I'm a fluent Italian speaker and I love the language and I've always tried to get students into it. But I just don't really have the time, unfortunately, at the moment to commit more than um, uh, one day a week to um, two clubs. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I would love to be able to offer more clubs. I think it's really important, particularly in terms of the work ready skills. But um, I, uh, you know, there's a limit, unfortunately, to what we can achieve. Thank you very much for your time. For our next story, we'll be discussing the important undiscussed issues of the sports here at Ho Valley School. And now we will take it over to Jay, who is reporting live from HVS Now. Hello, my name is Jaden, and today we're going to be looking at some of the sporting facilities with Ho Valley School. At Ho Valley School, we offer a variety of enrichment clubs. These run from Monday to Thursday for one hour from 4.15 to 5.15 p.m. Teachers do their best to make sure that students can enjoy almost everything during these clubs. Throughout the week, there are many sporting activities. On a Monday, there is Year 7 Boys Football. On Tuesday, there is girls football for all years, year 9 and 10 netball, as well as rugby for boys and girls. On a Wednesday, there is year 10 and 11 boys football and boys basketball for all years. Thursday, is year 8 and 9 football for boys, table tennis for all years, and year 7 and 8 netball. That's all the sporting activities outside of normal school hours. Now, back to you in the studio. And now for the weather. So far this month, the weather has been very cold and an average of 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. Our reporters, Avi and Emily, caught up with Catherine and Tom about how they feel about the weather. 
I think that we should be allowed to wear our coats in school because if we're cold in our lessons and the heating's broken, like a few of the classrooms have been, I, I think it's really important that we need to be warm because if we're warm in our lessons, then it won't hinder our learning while we're being cold. Great. Do you think...